Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video. Now we have a 2001 uh, Toyota Aventus behind us and we have a problem with the engine. Now the woman came in and she said she kind of said she wanted me to take it for a drive because she heard kind of like a bubbling noise. So I immediately thought, you know, overheating, but I couldn't smell the engine overheating. If you've heard an engine overheat, you can kind of smell it and it just didn't smell that way. So I said, just start it. And she started it and obviously it was missing, but that's the way she described it, which is fair enough. Now she did say she's had some work done on it recently um, and I can see there's two new coils on it and they are spurious coils. Um, and yeah, it was kind of doing the same thing before. She's lost power. I can smell fuel, no power missing. So, you know, we've got a, an issue somewhere with the ignition side of the car. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a quick diagnosis, hopefully. Just drop that. We're going to use the coil unplug. Now this is the Pico um, one. We're gonna use the Pico scope. We're gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to actually see what's going on now with this we can tell a lot we're going to use a secondary uh, side of the coil and we can see actually you know burn time we can see the coil switching on we can see you know the um if the if the plug is any good without actually taking anything apart with this particular car you have to be careful if you disconnect the uh, coils on this one you will actually stop the car from running and not only that you could potentially do damage to the ECU so we can't disconnect the coil packs because the car no matter what would just stop running and potentially do damage so we have to do this slightly different way you have to be careful not all cars you disconnect the coil packs because you can do a lot of damage ECU damage you know depending on the car it could be a fortune so what we're going to do I'll quickly show you the uh, coils and uh, we'll get testing sorted Okay, you can see in the middle, they're the two genuine coils and the two ones on the outside, they're completely different and they are spurious. Now, all I've done is I just loosened the bolts. So they're kind of, you know, they're still plugged into the plug, but they're kind of loose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the car on. We're gonna set up the uh, scope and we're gonna see what's going on. Now I'm gonna have to get the camera focused on the screen of the scope. And I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do on top of the coil pack, I'm just gonna put this on. So you need to get a good kind of solid connection on it and then we should get a waveform up and I'll tell you if I'm on number one, two, three, etc. So let's get that set up and uh, we'll get cracking. Well, I hope you can see that okay at the top with the best thing about the Pico or any kind of scope, you can actually pick uh, what probe we're using. So we've got the coil and pr probe. We're at 100, uh, sorry, a million mega samples. What we're gonna do is start the car Hopefully you can hear that kind of stumbling and missing. If I just rev it up, it might come through a lot better. Not really, but believe me, it's missing. So what I'm gonna do now is, we're gonna put it on number one, number two, number three, and number four, and see what's going on. So number one. Oh, I need to run the scope. Run. Number one. There we go. Looks kind of okay. Let me just uh, change the time base slightly, just so we can get it a bit bigger on screen. Change it again. Okay, we've gone too far that time. We'll just leave it at one then. Now, we can see a little bit more. So that kind of looks okay as such. Now that is one of the uh, Furious coils. This is number two. Looks a bit better. Look at the oscillation at the end. This is number three. And then number four. Aha. Well, there we go, look. I'm on number four. And as you can see, nothing is happening. Okay, go back to number three. 
and we'll just stop that so we can do a little bit of checking. Now I won't go through it all on this video, but you get the idea. We'll just zoom in on this. Now we can actually see the switch on time and the charge of the coil, which is the first one. Then we can see when actually collapse, this is the burn time here then. So this is where you can actually check your uh, spark plug and stuff. And uh, it's old, but it kind of looks okay. Um, the oscillation at the end, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but number four, we're getting absolutely nothing. This is why, uh, very quick and easy, if I wasn't filming this, you could literally do it in a couple of minutes. Um, because we're filming, we'd have to explain a bit more. So that's, that's the waveform, that's okay. I can tell from that, that the plugs and everything are okay. I'm not gonna measure, because again, I might go into another video explaining all this, um, exactly how to measure it and all that sort of stuff, and what the burn time means, and the coil oscillation, and all that sort of stuff. But what we're doing, we just wanna see if we can uh, repair it. So, we need to find out what's going on with the, the coil packs. And I can show you something we can do if you don't have a scope or anything. But with a scope, as you can see, it's just quick and easy. Right, one thing we can do, but we do have to be careful, is we can lift up the coil packs. That's why I've undone them. But we don't want to lift them up completely so the spark has nowhere to go because you can pop a coil pack quite easily. I'm just going to lift it up and I'm going to hear it kind of spark into the plug. The engine might run a little bit rough, but we're not worried about that. I just want to hear uh, the, the spark go into the plug. I'll put the uh, microphone next to it and you should see and uh, what I'm talking about. So we know we've got a problem in number one. If I just put the... Hopefully the microphone's picking up that... Did -did 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 -did. So this is a way you can do it to see if your coil is actually sparking, but do not disconnect these. Now, we know they're all okay anyway, but you can actually hear them. And obviously with this one, oh, ho oh, ho. Now, let me show you that. Right, I'll just, uh, Take this off now, and I'll show you something, and then we'll show you inside the car. Right, obviously you can't smell this, but believe me, it stinks like burning circuit boards. Um, you can actually see, the camera will actually focus, right, focus. Come on, please, focus. There we go, now, look at that. Look at all that burning right down there. We have spark occurring outside, outside the cylinder. This is a new, well, I call it a new spurious one. And there we go, it's blown up already within, within a week. So let me try and get you inside the engine so you can see what's happening with that. Electricity will always find the path to least resistance and the plug is obviously quite hard to go through. That's why the coil has to charge up and just explode all that energy. So there is resistance in the plug. But if we've got spark occurring on the outside, well, obviously, you know, it's gonna take the path of least resistance. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I need to get you in there and uh, so you can see the fireworks. This should make a good thumbnail. Look at that. It's actually sparking everywhere how cool is that well it's not cool but you know what i mean not good for the engine now right okay we got a bit of a problem we know what's wrong that coil is destroyed on a few of my videos, I get a bit of grief of people saying, oh, you should have repaired it properly, because on one that I recall was the Freelander, uh, one of the pipes, the intercooler pipes was gone. And what people don't realize is, I was like 50, and I explained in the video, I was 50 miles away from the nearest dealer. They didn't have one in stock, so it wasn't about how much money it was, they didn't have one in stock. 
The customer needed their vehicle back. It's a working farm vehicle. They need it back. I couldn't have it sitting here for a week on order in a part and they don't have the vehicle. They've only got one vehicle. They need it. Similar situation to this. The main dealer doesn't have one. Tomorrow is Good Friday. So no one's going to be open tomorrow. Uh, the weekend, no one's going to be open. And Monday, no one's going to be open. The person that owns this car, someone, one in their family is disabled. They need the car. So I have to get a spurious one again. It's not ideal, but we have no choice sometimes. So this is what people don't realize. When they see something, they don't realize the backstory to what the repair is. Yes, in the perfect world, you need to replace all four coil packs with genuine ones. But who's going to do that in a 2001 car? No one. So before you start making stupid comments, you have to think about the situation it's too difficult to go through every situation every car but there's reasons why you have to do things sometimes because of reasons like this just think of it in your way if i told you right we have you're going to have to wait five days to get your car back and you got someone in your family disabled what are you going to say to me no just get it repaired so that's it so we have to go for uh, a spurious coil and uh, yeah, we'll put it in and then we'll see what it, what it does. It should fix the problem, but it will fix the problem. And just got to hope it lasts longer than a week. It's just the way it is. So once I get it, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll continue filming. But there's always a backstory. There's always, a, there's always other problems that people don't realize. So rather than trying to be clever, just think about things first. Sort it. Okay, I haven't tightened anything down yet. I just banged the new coils and we've still got a few other bits to do on this car before we give it back to him, but let's just hear what it sounds like. One of the, the number four cylinder might be slightly flooded and the spark plug and stuff, we're gonna change all them, but just let's hear what it sounds like first. A million times better. So, rev it up. There we go. Now let's see what the waveform looks like. All right, we'll just try, hold on. We just unzoom. So just try one of the old ones first. And now the new one. And there we go. There we go. I've just zoomed in more. I made the waveform bigger. And there we go. Right, and there we go. Very simple, quick and easy diagnostics, quick and easy fix. Very, very simple, nothing uh, difficult here. And I would love to compare it to a brand new um, one, but obviously we don't have that luxury. But yeah, everything kind of looks okay. Car runs a million times better, and uh, I might do other videos in future kind of going into a bit more about, you know, the charging time and, you know, the spark line and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah. But anyway, so I want to ask a question. You can answer it down in the comments. What would you do in this case if you didn't have a scope? What's the first thing you would do for a misfire um, problem on your car? I'd like to know down below. Sorted. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.